What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another GTA Online video. My name is Saints Fan, and of course, today is Thursday, which means we have a new event week. And of course, there is the event week. That's what we're sort of looking at here. We'll definitely go over this in a second. But because of this new event week, because of some stuff behind the scenes, some weird stuff is happening on the console editions of this game. Things that uh, honestly only modders can really do at least from if you compare it to pc so if anything strange has been happening to you over the last day or so in gton and you're on console well then hopefully this video will explain what is going on are there modders on console well we'll take a look at that right after we quickly go through the newswire event because there's nothing crazy this week uh probably the biggest thing is this t-shirt is the t-shirt you get it's the free item i think you simply just gotta log in uh yeah if you just play gt line between now and of course next thursday you will get this pre-road t-shirt i guess this is the start of the uh the 20th anniversary for gta 3 so that's kind of the biggest thing because the, the money making i think we get double money on sumo like does anyone really care double money on special vehicle work no no one really cares uh, we also get, I think it was on the Gerald missions, you get double money. So nothing crazy. I mean, we have, like I said, double money on the special vehicles. You also get some bonus money on the daily objective. So that's kind of good. Like I said, Gerald, he has two times money on all of his missions. And they are pretty fun. I think these are the most recent new contact missions. The prize ride is the Dominator ASP. It's not a bad vehicle. You get this by placing top three in six different car meet races over the course of a week. So not too difficult, doesn't sound like. Uh, these are the Podium or the Test Ride vehicles if you don't have any of them. Uh, and then to wrap it up, we have, well, I guess we have the Spectre on the Podium. But then the discounts, they really want you to buy the Casco because you'll see you have 40% off here. You also get 40% off of all garages, which is cool. If you want to switch garages or buy a new one. But look at this. You get 65% off the Casco if you're a Twitch Prime member. So they, they're really trying to just get rid of Cascos, I guess. But anyway, that's the event week. Like I said, nothing crazy, nothing special. We are all waiting on probably the GTA 3 trailer coming hopefully tomorrow. They've been doing some GTA 3 or the, the GTA trilogy. Sorry. The GTA Trilogy trailer coming tomorrow. They have been releasing some of that stuff on Friday, last couple of weeks, so maybe we get that. But now, okay, the modder stuff. So this is a clip from the Frogman. Uh, I'll leave a link to his video that you can see the full-length clip. But uh, what what's happening on console? This is this guy's on Xbox One. He goes to sell something here. And then everyone in his lobby gets teleported to a random garage near the airport. And of course, in typical GTLN fashion, chaos ensues. Everyone tries to kill each other. But this is something that only modders can really do on PC. So people are wondering, like, are modders now on console? Are they on Xbox One? Are they in PS4 lobbies? And it does not actually seem like that's the case so if you were wondering if you were worried don't be because according to fun mw2 this is what he posted he said that apparently yesterday rockstar pushed a background update that contained an odd change where a specific event was replaced with teleport to apartment slash garage event now, there are reports of whole lobbies teleporting to an apartment or a garage entrance. And that's what we, of course, just seen. So if you were wondering what's going on, it's just, it's Rockstar breaking the game, basically. It's not modders. It's not anything crazy. At least nothing yet. I mean, maybe one day you guys will have to deal with modders. Hopefully not, though. But if you were on console, everything seems to be fine. Apart from just everyone occasionally teleporting to garages and apartments. If that's the case, hey, just bust out the up and atomizer and blow everyone up. That's all you gotta do. 
But anyway, yeah, thank you guys for watching. That's going to do it for this video. Uh, I guess actually let me know in the comments if anything, any weird stuff like that has been happening to you guys on console. Because I'd be curious to see how often this sort of stuff is happening. But anyway, again, thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.